I'm Heidi Schweingruber. I'm the Deputy Director for the Board on Science Education at the National Research Council. The framework is a document that offers a vision for K-12 science education that all students should be able to achieve. It outlines the things that students should know and the things they should be able to do in science starting from kindergarten and going through 12th grade. The framework is important because the previous sets of standards for science education came out in the mid-90s and since then we've learned an awful lot about how students learn science and better ways for teaching science. We want to employ those to improve science education. In addition, in the 21st century, science really suffuses every aspect of our lives and it's really important that all students have access to a good science education. And finally, states currently are really interested in developing common standards for education and we're hoping that the framework can be a basis for that effort in science. The framework lays out a vision but also articulates what students should know and be able to do in science. So there are three dimensions scientific and engineering practices, which are the things you do in science, like analyzing data or asking questions, cross-cutting concepts, which are the broad themes that go across all the disciplines in science, like cause and effect or systems, and then the core ideas in the disciplines. That's in the physical sciences, life sciences, earth and space sciences, and engineering technology. And those are really things like human impacts on the earth, the structure and function of living things. The framework was developed by a committee of 18 experts. Half of them were sort of outstanding world-class scientists, and the other half were experts in learning and teaching science. They worked over a period of a year and a half to develop the document. They also solicited input from many stakeholder groups in education, and the resulting document is the consensus of that group of 18 about what students should know and be able to do in science. The framework builds on elements from previous standards documents, but it also offers some new elements. For example, it identifies a small set of core ideas and practices across K-12 to provide greater coherence to how students learn science across all of the grades. It also better specifies the scientific practices, that is what students should do in science, beyond a general emphasis on inquiry. And finally, it really stresses that the best way for students to learn science is through doing science, so through engaging in the practices. So there's no more memorizing lists of discrete facts. The framework is currently being used by states to design a common set of standards for science education. In addition, we also hope that it'll be used to guide improvements in different parts of science education, including the curriculum, instruction, and assessment. The goal of the framework is that all these aspects of the K-12 science education system will be aligned so that we can achieve the vision that the framework articulates. 